So. coach welcome back to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content if you need more help with your training business and you want to get on a call with me then what i do every single day i offer these free 15 to 20 minute calls where we jump on zoom i can ask you some questions about where you currently are where you want to get to and i can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your business right if you don't want to do that then you can reach me via whatsapp or you can send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com right so there's a number of ways to get in contact with me to get more help with your training business so today i want to talk about and this is a question i get asked on a, a regular basis is a lot of coaches ask me leo how can i build a strong relationship with my customers so they're staying with me for longer. Now, when I started my business, this was something that I had to get right because in the area I was, I was in, right, we had a lot of competition at the time. So what I did is I spent a good two to three months just studying the market and seeing what other coaches were doing, what other coaches were offering, what other coaches provided, uh, what was their communication with their clients and from once I gathered that information I then sat down and I created my program okay and what I did is I made it a priority to out care my competition okay so any customer client parent player that came into my program what I did is I made it a mission to make sure that I out care any competitor so that that parent decides not to go somewhere else, but to stay with me for the long term. So something I did, right, and I want to share these two things with you because I do get asked on a regular basis. A lot of coaches ask me, Leo, what can I do to add value? Leo, what can I do to add more uh, yeah, more value, more care to my clients. How can I keep them in my program longer so they're not going off to a competitor and then you're having to, to look for new clients to, to add into your business, right? What we want to do is we want to have a business that your customers are staying with you for a long period of time so that way you don't have to keep replacing them with new clients, okay? Now, one of my methods when I work with coaches is I teach coaches how to build a business where you aren't working with hundreds and hundreds of clients or, or kids, but you're working with a select amount and you're providing a great value, you're providing a great service, and essentially those parents are paying more than what your competitors are currently charging. That way, the value of the program goes up the type of player in your program goes up and also you can manage your clients okay when it gets to 200 or 300 or 100 clients okay that's fantastic in terms of financially but the value of a program does begin to drop because of the amount of kids that are in the program. So what I like to teach coaches is, right, how can we build a sustainable, profitable business with 20 to 30 clients that we're seeing every single week? We're charging a premium for, that, for the service and clients are sticking with us for three, six, nine, or even 12 months out of the year, okay? So two ways to do it. Okay, and again, if you want more help with this, you can get in contact with me. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I do offer a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call where I can talk with coaches about their business. And or uh, if you want to message me, you can send me a message uh, via my WhatsApp or 
via my uh, email address. But the two ways I look at is number one, you've got to listen to your customers, right? Listen, observe what your customers uh, are going through, what they want, what are their needs, and essentially what are they struggling with. At the end of the day, the purpose of any business is to solve a problem in society. That's how we exchange value. If I have a problem that needs solving, I'm going to look for a company that solves that problem, whichever industry you're in. So if you're in sport or if you're in in, in soccer, which is the, the niche and the industry that I specifically focus on, right, or, or if you're a coach in basketball, tennis, whichever sport you're in, but you watch these videos, you have to realize, right, what problem are kids having in my city that I can solve that problem? So parents think, do you know what? I want to exchange some money with this coach. So you've got to find value. You've got to listen, get feedback. And the more feedback you get from parents, players, the better your program will become. Okay, because essentially you have to provide what the customer wants. So that's how, you know, they they stay with you and they pay for a service. So number one, listen to your customers. See what they want, see what their needs are and what problem are you looking to solve for the parents and players that you work with. Now, the second one is is go the extra mile with the customers that you work with. So. An example that I have in my business is that at the end of the month, what I normally do is I send a report to parents, right? I will send a report to parents with a couple of bullet points on what areas of the game their child needs more help with, what areas of the game I feel they're getting better at, and what areas of the game come next month we're going to be focusing on. Now, once the client or the customer has read through that that feedback, okay, what the next step is, is to get on a five to 10 minute call with me where I can go into more detail about those 10 points or or couple of points that are on the report, okay? And that's where you build trust, okay? Because parents, a report is great, but parents want to speak to you. Okay, so when you get on the phone, they can open up to you, they can ask you questions, they can see what your opinion is, what feedback, and that's where you build a strong relationship. If your competitor doesn't have a process like that, where parents are kind of just treated as someone that's just paying for for a service, and they're showing up, they're dropping off their kid, they're going home, the chances are those parents won't be in the program for long because As soon as that happens, they'll look for somewhere else where they feel more comfortable and they feel more valued. So that's what we want to do. We want to find value. We want to make sure that our customers, our parents, our payers are comfortable and you're providing something that your competitor doesn't do. Okay, so a simple example, a monthly report of their progress, areas they're getting better at, areas that need improving and what are we going to be focusing on coming into the next four weeks once they've done that parents can then respond to that feedback and they can book a a five to ten minute call with you where you can go over that report okay and in that report or that conversation you have either through zoom or it could be in person right zoom is a fantastic tool so you can have these conversations with parents or these these mini meetings via Zoom, parents can be at home, you can be in your office or wherever you are, you need to be, and you can have this exchange of information and this conversation with your clients, okay? So if you need more help with this, you want to provide more value, you want to build your business, you want more help, okay? Reach out to me, speak with coaches every single day. This is essentially what I do now. I prioritize my day helping coaches, reaching out to coaches, uh, answering questions, you know, sending emails, writing blogs, posts. You know, this is something that I'm looking to specialize in. 
something I've been doing for a very, well, for a while now. And I've worked with coaches in multiple different countries that have training businesses. Okay, so if you need more help, don't hesitate, reach out to me. And I'll see you on the next video. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content.